Good afternoon, my name is Randall Rader. I work in Public Works Stormwater Drainage. Today we're gonna be discussing uh, the articulating knuckle booms. Um, for the purpose of this, you're gonna to have to refer to the Class B uh, CDL vehicle inspection, a walk around video. Um, all we're gonna go through on this vehicle today is the specifics of this vehicle and then the operation of the knuckle boom itself. Our uh, first thing we're gonna check is, uh, we're gonna check some of our hydraulic lines on our outriggers. Um, you wanna check the lines coming to the outriggers on the back side here, checking the, um, the coupling, making sure that it's not leaking, looking at the hose itself, making sure there's no excessive dry rot, no bulges, no cuts on the outrigger itself. We're also gonna look at the outrigger, make sure there's no damage to it, uh, no major bends, dings, dents, uh, excessive rust, non-factory welds. We're gonna test the operation of it in just a little bit. We're also looking down here to make sure that there's no hydraulic fluid leaking out of the cylinder itself. Uh, moving back on the body, we see our danger stand clear sign. We need to make sure that those are uh, throughout the vehicle. But we're also gonna check our hydraulic oil tank. Uh, we're making sure that it's positively mounted to the vehicle through the bolts uh, attached to the frame. We're gonna look at the sight glass and check the, uh, the level and it also shows the temperature. Um, and we're gonna check the hoses and make sure there's no apparent leaks, excessive uh, dry rot or bulges. I'm also gonna look underneath the tank, looking for any apparent uh, leaks or any damage to the bottom of the tank as well. Uh, the hydraulic oil is very, very important on this vehicle um, because everything related to this knuckle boom is hydraulically driven. All right, now we're at the rear of the knuckle boom. I wanna check the, uh, the rear doors. Um, so I'm gonna pull your chains off. All right, I'm gonna come through, pull my safety lever, and actually unlock my door here. What I'm checking for here, I wanna make sure that the swing is sufficient um, and that when I pull them all the way open that I will be able to lock it in place so I can do a, uh, if I wanna do a bed dump. Um, My second door, checking my pins. And then when I close it up, I'm gonna make sure that the handle has the safety lock in place. And I'm also gonna place my safety chain across uh, just in case this does decide to pop open. All right, now for the operation of the rear, all right, we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up. All right, and then we gotta turn our PTO switch on. Um, right here in the center, we see a PTO switch off and on. We're gonna flip that on, our red light should illuminate. Something else we always wanna make sure that is uh, um, not illuminated when we're operating this, we have a body up uh, light. We wanna make sure that this is off. If this is on, that means that the body is not all the way down, the sensor's uh, being tripped. Lastly, our strobe, we always wanna ensure for safety purposes that our strobe light in the rear is turned on. Now we're gonna to move to the rear, uh, the rear controls. All right, because we are on an elevated platform, very important to remember hard hat. We have swinging uh, machinery as well. Um, and then basic overall PPE. So now that the vehicle is on, we have the uh, PTO switch inside engaged. One more switch we need to make sure we engage. The silver uh, PTO pull, pull that, and you hear the pump actually kick on. All right, now we're gonna go through the basic controls, but before we do that, now that the PTO's going, I just wanna look over at any of my lines for any apparent leaks. All right, all my lines run back behind and down the side. I wanna make sure I have no leaks. Also, a couple warning placards. Um, I have a warning placard right in front of me. It says, warning, watch for power lines. Obviously very important. I'm working with uh, metal machinery here and also has a very high reach. All right, and then you see the, uh, the placard in front of me that talks about what each of the different seven handles do up on top, as well as the four outriggers on the bottom. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you the operation of the outriggers. Um, the right two on this side are for the right one, the left two are gonna be for the left. So you take your second handle, push it down, that puts your outrigger out. You always want the outriggers all the way out. All right, then you're gonna take your other handles and you're gonna put them down. All 
uh, that is going to provide stability for your vehicle. You don't want them down so far that your tires come off the ground, just enough for the stability when you're swinging side to side and picking up heavy loads. All right, now if you want to go straight off the diagram in front of us, your inside handle on this side is for your main boom. All right, you push it forward, that's going to raise your boom up. Obviously, you pull it down, it goes down. All right, the tip boom also has an in and out. All right, that is towards me, that is in. Back up is out. That's useful if you're trying to pick something up very close, uh, maybe to the machinery. The tip extension, you can extend it out for uh, added reach or pull it back in. Your bucket swing, to push it forward is your right swing. Obviously, if I pull it back to my left, that'll be my left. All right, so now from there I can come, I can bring it down. If I needed to pick something up closer, I'll bring my tip boom in. All right, my uh, fifth butt, or my fifth handle, is gonna be my bucket close. My sixth is gonna be my bucket rotation. You see, I can rotate it right and left. I can actually go down. And then I would actually be able to pick something up by closing the, the bucket. I'd come up with it. Back to my left. Depending on the length, I can rotate my bucket to get it to fit perfectly in the bed. Come back down. And I'd place the load, opening my bucket, place the load right inside my knuckle boom. All right, next, you have two ways to empty this, uh, the, the bed, oh, I'm sorry, the body portion of the uh, knuckle boom. One, you can manually unload it with the uh, boom, or two, you would put the boom all the way straight up in the air. All right, ensure it is all the way up and out of the way. Next thing you're gonna use is the very last handle, which is your body, butt, uh, body switch. Push it forward, that's gonna raise your body all the way up. Then when you're done loading it, obviously you would lower it all the way back down. Once it hits, I can visually turn and look inside the cab. I can see the body light is not illuminated anymore. I know it's all the way down. And then I'm gonna put my boom all the way back down inside the body in the resting position. All right, once I'm done with that portion, um, I, would, I would lift up my leg, uh, my outrigger legs. Always ensure they're fully uh, uh, all the way pulled in, retracted, and then pull them back uh, into the vehicle. Again, never up move this vehicle with either them out or down at all. After that, I would push my silver PTO switch back in. I would move inside, turn my PTO switch off, and that's the basic uh, operation of the controls of the knuckle boom.